not trying to be posh or anything, but uh, Brad just went down the uh, doctors and uh, he went in and it's like a three hour waiting list. And uh, his flu have got a little bit bad now, temperature, spewing, um, he's uh, got his cough, he's lost his voice, he's hell of a state. So I brought him to the private hospital. This is a private accident and emergency where you just come in, you obviously got to pay, but you see him instantly. Let me show you around the waiting room. There's nobody here. This is the difference. <coughs> so there was 35 to 40 people in the, in, in the doctor's surgery, and there's absolutely nobody here. So I don't think it's going to be too long before we actually see the doctor. So I'll document it for you, just for you to see, and uh, see how they ever have to it. <laughs> so after waiting a mere minute, we have now been strolling down to this part here, which is urgent care. And, uh, and here we are, this is it. And as you can see, the waiting room is absolutely <coughs> empty. So, Brad wants to get better by tomorrow. I don't know if they're gonna be in a miracle like that, but he can't speak, his voice have gone. And uh, we've got a presentation like tomorrow over, uh, Ryder, Gold Sierra GB, job done. Subscription. Well, this is absolutely amazing. We've been in and out in under five minutes. We've had a antibiotics. The prescription was written and done here, <coughs> uh, and the total cost was fifty-six pounds. Oh, he's dying. He's uh, trying to get back riding because uh, he hasn't even been able to train ready for the British Championship and the Welsh Championship, which is February. He's just been lying in bed clubbing and drinking but uh, 56 quid seen done on our way home we'd still been waiting in the doctors no time to wait I'm afraid anyway look I got new shoes so I've just come from the, uh, the doctors and I just want to show you the fog look at this this mist shooting across the park yeah and lifting oh, I'm lifting up here all the way pretty nice and the side, look. Ah.